to the lecturers of this wonderful college without whom none of us would be here, and to my fellow graduates, and of course, importantly, our proud parents, congratulations. Today we celebrate, and we are celebrated. Ladies and gentlemen, specially invited guests and our media houses, welcome. Today we have become graduates of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, a proud institution and the training ground for tomorrow's doctors, architects, engineers, scientists, teachers, lawyers, and leaders. In addition to these, this institution also produced a number of special entrepreneurs and its very own shuttle service, both of which I will get into in a minute. We have a lot to be proud of, and we are here this afternoon to celebrate our triumphs and achievements, both individually and as a college. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has five known divisions, those being DAGS, DAGRI, DTEMS, DTA, and DHS. However, this is not where the list ends. For instance, there also exists a Sir Arthur Lewis Community Cars. At the beginning of our tenure here, many of us complained of the distances between buildings. Having a class at VAR and then having to walk all the way to DTEMS was in no way enjoyable, especially not under the blazing sun. At that time, a shuttle service perhaps would have been a brilliant implementation. However, in our second year, this desire was no longer necessary and quite frankly, would not have been possible because the shuttles would have no place to turn in the students' car park because it was filled with our parents' cars. <laughs> ah, yes, the feeling of accomplishment of getting one's license was not complete until you dropped your parent to work in the morning and took their car to school. <laughs> and with this, Sir Arthur Lewis Community Cars was born. Our very own shuttle service, whereby 12 or more people would pile into a five-seater car to go down the road to our selection of five-star roadside restaurants or simply to class on the other side of campus. I was left to believe that many of these community cars operated on water and not fuel because it was hard to understand how such high volumes of fuel could possibly be paid for and consumed in such short spaces of time all of the time. Another branch of college life was the Arthur Lewis Community Co-op. The average student in a regular college would have books, stationery, and other such related products in their bags. Not hair, no, no. We had our very own food cooperative operating out of the backpacks and in some cases cars of students. Delicacies ranged from wraps to burgers to brownies and were never too far away. Just a step or two under OTW would satisfy all of your cravings. All of these branches of the college contributed to a tree of memories that we will cherish forever and from which we are all well rooted. Of course, in addition to all of these occurrences, we did manage to get work done, or at least the majority of us did. We were fortunate to have had lecturers who went above and beyond their call of duty and took a personal interest in our education. However, we are a college, so we were not spoon fed. Attending this institution was proper preparation for what is to come in the real world. Essentially, there was a sink or swim atmosphere. For those who don't understand what I mean by this, we were basically dropped into a pool and the decision was ours, whether we sunk or we swam. This, my fellow graduates, is the exact scenario we are about to be thrust into. Except this time around, instead of grades being the only result at the end of the pool, the result will be our future, our well-being, our careers, our happiness. We are at a pivotal point in our lives, the most important, I would say. The decisions we make now ultimately will determine the path that our life will take. Class of 2017, we more than any other year know all too well and have had first-hand experience 
with the sayings that life is short or here today gone tomorrow as a class group having lost four classmates is a significant eye-opener this life we have it's precious it's fragile and the other thing about it is that we only have one we only have one chance at life we are given one life to live Zena, Jeanne, Joshua and Nigel charismatic spirits who continue to live on with us and in us and although they lived short lives they lived full lives they lived their best life my fellow graduates I want to share with you how we can be our best selves and live our best lives and I wish to do this by expanding on three main guidelines the first is to adopt short-term habits that will lead to the achievement of long-term goals you cannot wake up today and decide to run a marathon without having done any prior training whatsoever you will most definitely burn out on mile one and feel very unaccomplished and I think we need to truly dissect and understand this principle and apply it to the necessary areas of our lives if you have a major goal you need to do more than just write it down I'm going to repeat that if you have a major goal you need to do more than just write it down you need to devise a plan set out step by step lay out exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it by give yourself a realistic timeline to work with focus not on the harvest you reap every day but rather on the seeds that you plant and nurture and I promise if you do this the harvest will follow the second quite simply is to give up excuses you are never lacking resources you are only ever lacking resourcefulness become resourceful and give up your excuses the third and in my view most important is to give up toxic people spend time with people spend time with people who are born winners and I think Colin Powell in his words of wisdom truly encapsulates this principle so please do allow me to share he says an important attribute in successful people is their impatience with negative thinking and negative acting people as you grow your associates will change some of your friends will not want you to go on they will want you to stay where they are <laughs> friends that don't help you climb will want you to crawl your friends will stretch your vision or choke your dream those that don't increase you will eventually decrease you end quote and the last thing I want to leave with you, my fellow graduates, is that all of these things, all of these roads and avenues to success, they won't be arrived at overnight. Success comes in time. It takes dedication, perseverance, and commitment. And of course, there will be days we feel overwhelmed. We feel down, but that's normal. We are human. But the ones who make it to the finish line are the ones who push through. And in the words of Martin Luther King, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. And if you can't walk, 
crawl, but by all means, keep moving.